Hey man, you can know your watch. Dance, dance, dance. Yeah, well, I'm well, there again. Man, as I respect to each and everyone. Today is Sunday, so there are certain things I want to talk to you about in this video, viewers and subscribers. Yes, I have videos I'm going to present to you. And I want to talk to you about a part of a Bible that I read that shows the words uh, cows dung. I'm also see the words uh, prepare die bread in a certain part of the Bible that we we'll read. But we soon get to the topic then. First up, people, I'm going to present a video to you that's going to show some things that happened between at least the two persons so i got the understanding from the video that there was some type of disagreement between at least the two persons who was inside of a place of worship my people means the kind of person when we see certain situations may think twice me also i wonder if this is a real situation or not because when we see happen in the video me have to shake me that one point. Anyways, me here when I said that other person was saying certain words in the video and so forth. And just take a look at this video and tell me what I think. Alright? Observe with my people. Watch it. Is that good? Is that my people? Don't fight, oh, don't fight. Baba, don't fight. I will fight you, but I don't fight. Don't fight. Don't fight, oh, don't hit him, for. Get out of here. No, stay there. Stay there. No. I said, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. out. Get 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 out. Whoever hit Baba, Baba don't hit nobody. Yo. Baba don't hit nobody. Yo. We are taking it. Okay. All right. Baba don't don't throw. Don't throw. Let him hit you first. Baba Omar Williams, let him hit you first. Don't hurt you. Don't hit. The cameras are running. Cameras are running. Cameras are running. Don't worry, cameras are running. Whoever hit first. Whoever hit first. No, leave him there. He started his service. He started his service. No. Let him. Baba Omar Williams, don't go. No, he's not good. Madi day, Madi day, Madi day. Madi day, Madi day. No. I am people, let me say these words. Let me say these words, you see? I may talk from experiences, see? Over the years of me going to certain different type of church, cheese, see? Make get to understand that there are some persons who do not like some persons inside of the same church with them ago. You see what I say? I either come like say, either come like this. Certain amount of persons who sit down on the left side over the church as well. Don't totally agree with some person who sit down on the right side of the church so, and so forth. Me not believe in them things then. Eh? We feel it good. You understand? See? But, a years ago, so who knows? Maybe everything alright by now. See? But anyways, my people, so, I'm going to present another video to you. I'm going to take a look at this video carefully. I'm going to like if you answer me this. Now, my people, what would you do if you randomly go to a place and you see a large number of people holding machetes and sticks and probably other objects, what would you do? Me? Me I make a U-turn. Me I leave. Me gone. Me not stay there. Take a look at this video and tell me what I think, viewers and subscribers, because me no know what kind of gathering this. Viewer discretion is advised for this video. Observe with me. Watch out.
But if anyone misses too much of them type of things, they they one place. No, 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 no. That's not me. Me no, me no agree with them things. I mean, me no want to run none of them type of gathering there. No, no, no. Eh? You can't suppose one person have some form of disagreement with the other person. With them, the amount of board and stick and mash it all kind of objects. You will be seeing that the booth, eh? Me not can this up, me not got this up, me not. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. And remember to click all. All right? Anyways, now people, I'm going to present a video to you that is being talked about on social media. In this video, a person said some words that gave me the understanding that the person talked about inside of a prison or jail. The reason why I explain it like that is because in certain parts of the video, me here when the person said the word prison, and then in certain parts of the video, me here when the person said the word jail. However, and overall, the person made some allegations in the video that I'm about to present to you. Me here when the person said the words Trinidad and Tobago, and some words that the person say in the video really raises concerns. So I'm going to pay attention to some words that the person say in the video. You know, I'm going to pay attention to the word war and to the word warning and some other words as well listen carefully people viewer discretion is advised for this video observe with me I'm making this video here now to address certain issues with the phone seen in jail and certain corruption that in the system, right? The commissioner of prison, Mr. Carlos Caraspi. I want you to listen and listen to what we're saying, right? Right now, it don't have no phones in the jail for prisoners to use. It don't have no phone on the wall for prisoners to use. And they go in America and they get the implementation of charging people in the jail. But here what's going on? Who coming in the jail with the phone? Who bringing in? Your officers bringing in jail in the phone. Your negligence, your slackness is yeah, one yeah, of phones so. in the prison right now. And we don't have a choice. We just communicated with our family by any means that we know how now. And as I was showing you, at the end of the day, phones coming in the jail, we're not leaving here and got my no phone out there. And then I never send any police in the jail or the search man case cell. I'm gonna get them and get them free will keys. You, the commissioner, prison and your officers, supposed to get charged for failure. The government sending money to put phone and to put facilities for prisoners and let's see if any money. I'll be fed up at that, right? I'm making this video because I want to come out and Tom. Tom stink and nasty. The conditions here, embezzlement, is thiefing going on. They're taking the food, you're not making wrongs in the jail, Mr. Caspi. I'll be fed up, right? Or you will cause men to start to rebel on your officers, men pulling information, taking officers' vehicle number, officers' address. Is that all kind of gangs in the jail? Are you playing mad with all your officers' life, boy? And are you frustrating jail? I say, you take the seat, Mr. And you feel like some kind of bully thing may going on. We not taking bully. You have to kill all our we boy. You understand? And be fed up at this thing. But I'm making this video to let you know, Mr. Caspi, that be fed up. And we pulling information for the war. We're coming, right? Because it's a war coming. And don't feel it's me alone. No? I talking. But I talking to let you know that at the end of the day, we're afraid. It's better we die brave than we live as if prison slaves now, boy. We not no slave. You make him in jail and you will respect our constitutional rights. You will respect our human rights. And if you don't respect that, then all of us will come together and it will be war. You understand? Against officers and their family and their children out there on the streets. No justice in the court, no justice in the jail, no justice in the streets. Catch them by the doubles, man. Catch them in the mall and send them home to God. And this is what they will come to, right? I'm talking about these things because don't feel like talking aggressive just like that. Enough. I don't know mad man enough. I ain't telling but you're frustrating men and you're frustrating jailers, right? You're sending officers to search the jail right through, you're sending police in the jail to search prisoners right through, all hours in the night to frustrate men. Hot dog and cell with men. And you, what are you doing with that wall phone? Why are you not maintaining the wall phone so men to communicate to the family? The welfare not making wrongs, they're not making calls for men, so what are you trying to do? You're trying to mash up people's family life out there. Be fed up at that. I'm not talking with his, I don't care to dead and I get a big jail here, you know, but I'm not taking no pressure on my and I have real soul. He has rocking it, man. Right? So I send out this message TNT prison shockers, Trinidad and Tobago. No war. But at the end of the day, if only war, war, you're going to look for that war on the streets and it's that dog. If only war here to come like Haiti, there's no problem with that. Because we done in jail, we done dead already. Right? This is a warning. And you done get the warning. Right? Raw money empire. So, the person said Trinidad and Tobago in that video. We understand. OMG. Hmm. Them words that raises concerns in my point of view. See? And I would advise 
any official don't take what the person said lightly in that video no don't take it lightly no sir don't take them words lightly see man some strong allegations have been made in the video as well some words are saying in the video really and truly i'm thinking you know the whole phone part and all them things and people hmm. Anyways, I'm just I'm making more about the video because the video is being talked about on social media. Um, mm. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. And remember to click all. Now, my people, I'm going to read some words from a Bible that I have to you, my viewers and subscribers. You see me? I say, the reason why I'm going to read some words from this part of the Bible is because when we get the understanding that there are some persons who think certain ways pertaining to the words cause dung that have been mentioned in the bible and so forth you know and me, me believe that each and every one have a right to their own opinions and freedom of speech and so forth so may i say um just in case if you don't know so may i say according to google the word dung mean the excrement from animals and according to google the word excrement mean Waste matter discharge from the bowels, and may also see the word feces. You understand me? So, just a point out that. See, and please bear in mind that I might not read word for word properly because you know anybody can make mistakes. Anyways, so Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 9 to 17, have some words in it that says, Take thou also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils. Well, some people might sell lentils, you know, and millet and fetches and put them in one vessel and make thee bread thereof according to the number of days that thou shalt lie upon thy side. Three hundred and ninety days shalt thou eat thereof and thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight 20 shekels a day from time to time shalt thou eat it thou shalt drink also water by measure the sixth part of an hymn from time to time shalt thou drink if you see me make any mistake i saw it global people you can correct me in the comment section of the video see now here's now here we may get to the part now where I think some of you might find interesting. So, verse 12 said, And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes, and thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight. You hear that part there? Don't stop there, so I could continue. So, 13 said, And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the gentiles whither i will drive them hold on we're not done yet now listen to the part you know then said i a h lord god behold my soul hath not been polluted for from my youth upon even till now have I not eaten of that which died of itself, or is torn in pieces, neither came there abominable flesh into my mouth? Then he said unto me, Monsieur Elena O, I have given thee cow's dung for a man's dung, and thou shalt prepare thy bread therewith. No, but people, sometimes me have to read, me have to try to find ways to interpret certain words I'm reading in the Bible or I have to try and understand certain parts of the Bible I'm reading. You see what I say? Now, when we read that the part of the Bible, I have to tell you the truth. No matter which way you might look at it, some people might look at it, look at it a certain way. The fact that the word down there, and you know what I mean? Either way, you might look at it. Some people might look at it certain ways. And may I tell you the truth, I'm not so sure which way for you to understand that part. Yet. When it comes down to the part that say, and thou shalt prepare thy bread therewith. 
Yanazan, ye yo et seno, yo et seno. I have given thee cow's dung for human's dung, and thou shalt prepare thy bread therewith. See? So, either way, me look upon this, I me think that there are some people who have a look upon certain ways. And anyway, me just continue. See, me just I read it out to you still, because somebody brought it to my attention. See, so another part, in the same Ezekiel part of the Bible, I said, um, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment, that they may want bread and water and be astonished one with another and consume away for their iniquity. So, my people. What do you think? What do you think them words they mean? Me in the comment section and tell me what you think them words they mean, my people. Mm. Either way, it have me thinking. Yeah, so I think I got some other left it, you know. You know? Um, what do I call this? Food for thought? Yeah, something to think about still though. And let me know what to think. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. And remember to click all. Until the next time, my name is Dance Askela. Big up. Hey, my you, you know where I watch. Dance Askela!